Thank you. Later. Hello. Hello. Wait. I know this voice. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you. This is King Kai, right? That's right. Listen up, Goku Kid. I sense a great evil near you. Be on your guard. Uh, okay, I'll be careful. King Kai was right. I'm sensing some evil energy nearby.
happened since I first came here. Hi, Master Roshi. Well, if it isn't little Gohan, you're looking fit as a fiddle. Yeah. Hey, where is everybody? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, they're out looking for someone. Someone? Yes, Launch. She's the young woman that used to live here. No one's heard from her in quite some time now. She left here and went after Tien, but I was starting to worry she might have gotten herself mixed up in the fight against the Saiyans. So I asked Krillin and the others to go out looking for her in the area where the fight took place. But, well... Did something happen? Possibly. I just saw a young woman that looks a lot like Launch on a news report from West City. I'm waiting for Krillin and the others to get back so I can tell them to head there next. Oh, well, I can go there if you... Really? <laughs> That'd be great! You can't miss her. She's got full-bodied, curly blue hair. A real beauty. Her outfit leaves little to the imagination. I can still picture her tank top, shorts, her curves. <laughs> Just thinking about her is getting me all riled up. Ahem, what else? Oh, yes, her personality. She's a very calm, sweet person. Calm and sweet. Got it. Okay, I'm off to find her. Cities like this is really exciting. This has to be Bulma's house, right? Jerking me around. P please don't do this. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Blue hair, same outfit that Master Roshi described. That's probably lunch. Looks like she. You punks are messing with the wrong girl here. I said fork it over, so fork it over. You hear? Well, it's just. What's going on? Guess I'm just gonna have to pump you rats full of lead then.
Are you all right? Oh, okay. Who the hell are you? You're pretty tough for a pint-sized punk. You kind of sort of remind me of Goku. Huh? Wait, how do you know my dad? Huh? You're Goku's kid? What? What the hell are you doing here? These bozos stole my map, and I'm trying to get it back. What? D did you really? Um, uh, well... All right, that's it. Keep this dumb act up and BAM! You're gonna get it! Uh, I'm sorry! I guess I wasn't thinking! Wait, so you're not Launch? What? Jeez, I'm Launch. What? But I was told she has blue hair. It's complicated, kid. Now shut the hell up and give me the stupid map! Do you think you can find it in your heart to forgive me? Screw you! Get out of here before I send you packing myself! <laughs> Bunch of no good chumps. Whatever! At least I got my map back! <laughs> Sorry for butting in like that! Whatever. I'm over it. As long as I got this map, I could finally figure out where he lives. He? He keeps jumping all over the place for his training. I've been chasing nothing but rumors till now. Uh, oh, I see. Now this time, I'm gonna make sure he falls in love with me. Hold on tight, buddy, I'm coming for you. Well, there she goes. I guess I better head back and let Master Roshi know what happened. But she ran off somewhere. Hmm? What are you talking about? Launch came back not too long ago. Huh? Oh, did someone call for me? What? Oh, you must be the boy Master Roshi's been talking about. You're Goku's son, right? It's a pleasure to meet you. My name's Launch. Y you're Launch? But the woman I met before had blonde hair. Oh, uh, that's the other me. People tell me my personality changes whenever I sneeze. And my hair turns blonde, I guess. Oh, your personality changes? Hard to believe, right? I think it might be some sort of condition I have. That might actually be the best way to describe it. Ah, I remember. Sorry about that. I really hope the uh no. I'm just surprised to see you here since she said something about going to look for someone. Right. When I came to, I was near West City and I had no clue what was going on. And so I decided to come here. Uh, I see. Oh, I know. Why don't I cook something nice as a thank you for dealing with the other me? It's the least I could do. I've been wanting to try out a few recipes for a while now. Yes, I think that's a great idea. We can all eat together. Uh, okay.
to head to Bulma's. It's kind of late right now. Gohan, back already? I see. Don't stay out too late, got it? Sure, I got it. Oh, Gohan, back already? That's so. If you have time before Bulma finishes her spaceship, you might as well get some studying in. Uh, okay. After a fierce showdown with the Saiyans, the Earth was safe once again. But that safety came at a hefty price. The Dragon Balls, the only hope of bringing back those who had lost their lives, were gone. Thanks to what Vegeta said, however, Gohan and the others learned of more Dragon Balls on Kami's homeworld, Planet Namek. After they had found Kami's old spaceship, Gohan and the others made preparations for their long, arduous trip to Namek. Get over how huge Boma's place is. Just the person I was looking for. Huh? What's up, Boma? We're gearing up to go to Namek, right? I'm working on the spaceship that's gonna get us there. But I'm... Oh, bummer. With Goku in the hospital practically mummified in bandages. You're the only one left for the job. Oh. No problem, Bulma. Leave it to me. That's the spirit. Here's what I need. Think you can handle that? Oops. 
Appreciate the help.
Talk about speedy service. Does everything check out? <laughs> sure does. Great job. I'll have this spaceship up and running in no time. Thanks a bunch, Bulma. I could give you a run for your money if I train some more, Tien. Oh, is that so? I'm ready to- Hey now, I said if I train, if! The spaceship is complete and ready for takeoff. All right, Gohan, just let me know when you're ready to launch. We won't be back on Earth anytime soon, so make sure you've got everything you need. R right! So, you all set for the trip? Okay, I'll just perform a few final checks and make my way over to Kame House. You go ahead and meet up with Krillin and the others. With their preparations for the journey to planet Nemec complete, everyone has gathered at Kame House. <laughs> What's with the hair, Gohan? My mom thought I should look more presentable. You know, when meeting an entire alien race for the first time. Ah, uh, okay. Man, your mom sure is strict. We're counting on you. Don't come back until you've found those Dragon Balls. On it. Bye, Grandpa! Bye, Mom! Bye, Master Roshi! Write me every day, Gohan! All right, time for takeoff. Watch out, Planet Namek, here we come! Meanwhile, just as Bulma and the others left for Planet Namek, Vegeta, back and fully recovered from his fight on Earth, learned of his Commander Frieza's absence. Frieza was on his way to Planet Nemec with his most elite subordinates in tow. He was in search of the Dragon Balls that he learned of from Vegeta and the others on Earth. His goal? To wish for immortality. Vegeta hurriedly made his way to Nemec in an effort to catch Frieza and stop him. If Frieza is able to attain immortality, the universe is history! I'm not going to let that happen. 
Those Dragon Balls are mine! Meanwhile, 34 days after Bulma and the others left Earth, they finally arrived at their destination, Planet Namek. We did it! We actually made it to Planet Namek! Hmm, this place... Kind of reminds me of where Piccolo trained me, back on Earth. No use waiting around. Let's find those Dragon Balls. Oh, hey, check this out! I'm picking something up. No doubt about it, it's a Dragon Ball! You're right! Woohoo! <laughs> All right! All we right! Found we one. found we one! We found one! Huh? Krillin, do you feel that strong energy over there? Huh? Man, you're not kidding. It's massive, and it feels crazy strong! And there's something kind of evil about it, too. Uh, what's going on? There's nothing to freak out about. Besides, look at the reading I'm getting over there. The radar's picking up four Dragon Balls all in one spot. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's probably just some Namekians. We got nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> right? <laughs> We found it, Lord Frieza! Excellent work. Now only three remain out of my grasp. Right. I'll not be back. Oh, really? huh? Is it? No, it should. Huh? Look, what the hell is that? What? Oh, those aren't Namekians! They don't look like Namekians! Who the hell are they? Their power levels are a joke! They're nothing but trash! I guess it's just some Taurus, huh? Well, anyway, we got orders to annihilate everyone on the planet. It wouldn't be much fun if they got away. So let's take care of that spaceship of theirs. Sounds good to me! No! That's our ship! <laughs> Sucks to be them! Okay, go on. Feel free to let loose on these guys. They're nothing compared to you. Here goes! Right! Gohan. Nice going. There's nothing nice about this.
Uh, Lord Frieza, it seems like those two power sources from before may warrant more of our attention. They raised their power levels almost instantly, and then vanished after defeating two of our scouts. That is indeed strange. I highly doubt it's Vegeta's doing. Correct, my lord. It can't be Vegeta. The sources each have a power level of about 1,500. 1,500, is that right? Hardly anything worthy of our concern, wouldn't you say? They... If you happen upon these two, eliminate them. Let us leave Vegeta's destruction to Kui. <laughs> you hear that, Vegeta? That was a direct order from Lord Frieza. I finally get to kill you. Don't make me laugh, Queen. Do you actually think you can beat me? <laughs> Are you? You'll see. <laughs> ha. Well, now. <laughs> seem to realize how much of a threat I am. Good. I'll get rid of that waste of space in no time. <laughs> Easy prey. There. <laughs> you must... You don't... You see, I've managed to learn a little new trick during my time on Earth. <laughs> like what? Like how to control my power level. <laughs> no way! 90, 20, 21, 22,000! <laughs> This must be some sort of error, but I set my scouter to Vegeta's coordinate, and it's showing a reading of more than 22,000. Huh. Did you say 22,000? That's an older model scouter, isn't it? Here, I'll get a more accurate reading with mine. <laughs> Impossible! It can't be! Is my scouter broken? But it's a newer model! The reading's up to 24,000! <laughs> Are you saying his power level is even beyond ours now? <laughs> Die! We're supposed to be equal in power! You fool! I've grown stronger with each battle that I've fought! The most recent one on Earth pushed me to the brink of death! Don't think for a second that a pamphlet peon like you will ever be my equal! <laughs> got a gun! Oh, wait, Vegeta. I've got a great idea! We'll help you fight Frieza. We can take him on together. I never really liked him anyway. What did you say? You're so pathetic. You pissed me off for the last time. Got it? <laughs> Don't underestimate me. Fireworks. Vegeta's power level from before! That 24,000 reading, it was real! Oh, I don't believe it! He just took out Kui! I'm hardly surprised at this. How soon you forget, Vegeta is a highly experienced fighter in every right. Not to mention foolish. <laughs>
He doesn't seem to know his error in so brazenly defying me. Lord Frieza, the scouter shows there are about ten Namekians in that direction. Very good. Let's hope they have what I'm looking for, the fifth Dragon Ball. Let's pay them a visit. from this place. We're sitting ducks out here. We should try to find a place to hide. Maybe in a Namekian house or a cave or something. We'll try to figure something out. I'm, I'm sure the Namekians can help us fix our ship. I wish I could be as optimistic as you two. said not to fly, but boy, do I really want to fly now! Yeah. I feel the same way, but we can't, Krillin. Uh, yeah, I know. We're dead meat if anyone spots us. But you're in for a real challenge! It'll do the trick. So, how long do we have to stay in a creepy place like that? Huh? Krillin, do you sense that power over there? Uh, yeah, I do. But it's not like the others from before. This time it might be Namekian. Huh? Hide! There's some strange energy headed this way. What are you doing, Bulma? Hide! Those guys we beat up earlier weren't alone! Huh? It's them! and check the dragon radar, please? You said four of the Dragon Balls were in one spot. Well then, it's possible that those... Uh, yeah, that explains it. They have the four Dragon Balls. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go on, did you feel it? Y yeah, their power was incredible. Whoa, Th that small guy, he... He might actually be stronger than Vegeta. Whoa, stronger than Vegeta? No way. Uh, cool, man. Wait, how are we supposed to get the Dragon Balls from those guys? Once Master Roshi learned of the situation on Namek from Bulma, he informed Goku right away. Goku, who was eager to help his friends, then asked Dr. Briefs to build him a spaceship. Dr. Briefs modified the ship Goku arrived in as a child and gave it enough power to reach planet Namek in just six days. After bringing himself back up to fighting condition with some sensu beans, Goku left for Planet Namek. All right, I'm off. I'd better get training with this gravity machine right away. After all. Hey, 
You guys! Those creeps from before are heading straight for the Dragon Ball! Uh, hey, that's... Wait a minute. Th that's right back where Krillin thought that the Namekians were approaching us. Okay, I'll head over there and check things out. I'm going too. Uh, wait a sec. Huh? Are you just gonna leave me? Well, it'll be a lot safer. Actually, you might be right. Fine. I'll just open up a capsule home here in the cave and wait for you guys. Go on. Make sure you lower your power as much as possible. Right. Freezer's horrible henchman. <laughs> So, you think there are really some Namekian villages here? Well, if they are, we need to hurry and find them before it's too late. Go on, you know the deal, right? Yeah. No energy blasts are flying, right? That's right. We have to move undetected. I think I can handle this. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, wh wh what's going on down there? They look just like Kami and Piccolo. Ah, they must be Namekians! First introductions. I am Frieza. I'm looking for the Dragon Balls. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe one of them can be found here. We... we don't have anything like that. <laughs> it takes a great deal of courage to lie to me with a power level like yours. Uh, the, that device... that must be how they're able to find what few villages are spread across the planet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you know, the other elders were all too willing to provide me the information I need. W willing? That's impossible! Well, they did require some convincing. Zabon, show how persuasive we can be. Sir. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you understand now. If you insist on being this difficult, those young ones over there will be the next to die. <clears throat> They're monsters! How terrible! W what do you intend to do with the Dragon Ball? Why, I'll make a wish, of course. Nothing too extravagant, mind you. Just immortality. <sighs> Even if these monsters manage to gather the Dragon Balls, they still might not be able to make their wish. Uh, I suppose we have no choice. But promise me one thing. Promise me you won't lay a hand on the children. Of course. Mind you, you could have saved yourself all this trouble by doing this sooner. Now, take this and be gone. Well, I have you. Perhaps you can tell me something. Say, the location of the two remaining Dragon Balls. If memory serves, you need seven of them to make a wish, isn't that right? Don't be ridiculous. We Namekians are not in the business of endangering our own kind. And just when I thought you were less foolish than the rest, I suppose I have no other recourse but to kill you and the children. Get out of here, Dende! No! R right! No! Our scouters! Now you won't be able to hunt us down anymore! You're all dead! <laughs> it 
it's not much fun killing small fries like you. But you gotta die sooner or later. That's enough! What? what? Who the hell are you? I'm gonna make you pay for what you did! Hey, go on. Even if we take them together, these guys are way out of our league. You're dead, go on. No way! Solar flare! Get it all! No! I can't let this happen! Completely lost it. No way. Get it all. No way. Where'd the hell you go? 